South's unification minister met with the foreign press to clarify where the government stands on inter-Korean affairs. Hwan Young se emphasized dialogue with the regime is not based on the condition of denuclearization and neither is aid. Han Sung-woo shares with us his remarks. South Korea's unification minister, Kwon Young se has stressed that the denuclearization of North Korea is a must for inter-Korean relations, but not a prerequisite for engaging in dialogue and offering the regime humanitarian aid. Meeting with foreign media based in Seoul on Monday, Kwon also elaborated on his plans to continue the unification efforts of previous governments that the UN administration deems relevant, an approach he refers to as running in a relay race. Running a relay doesn't mean we'll be copying and pasting the policies from previous administrations, but instead involving them. We will strongly pursue inter-Korean peace and the improvement of the North's human rights situation without ever giving up on the goal of denuclearizing the regime and ultimately achieving unification. Regarding the COVID-19 situation there, Minister Kwon confirmed that Pyongyang is still unresponsive to Seoul's offer of medical assistance. He acknowledged, though, that it does seem China is providing aid behind closed doors, before reiterating Seoul is also willing to provide aid. There is a need for us to patiently wait. We'll be ready whenever Pyongyang asks for help. The minister also addressed the elephant in the room. North Korea's reportedly looming seventh nuclear test, saying all that's left for it to happen is likely Kim Jong-un's final call. To summarize it into one sentence, all preparations are complete and the only one thing left is a political decision. Assuming the test will indeed take place, he warned that the UN administration won't shy away from carrying out a firm response, more intense than that of previous governments. The minister added that he believes China and Russia do support the denuclearization of the regime, despite the country's recent decision in May to veto a United Nations Security Council's resolution to impose tougher sanctions on Pyongyang. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.